this is Jay Wu at the West Side Hub. I want to talk to you today about what does mortgage-backed securities, rising interest rates, and you have in common. So what is a mortgage-backed security? And how will mortgage-backed securities affect you as a current homeowner? Or if you don't currently own a home, how would it affect you if you wanted to buy a home in the future? What is an asset-backed security that the investor on the other side of your mortgage buys? The investments provide the bank the money to lend you on your mortgage. Investors have liked mortgage-backed securities in the past because they yielded more than bonds and when home values were on the rise, they have been fairly um, low risk. But as mortgage mortgages defaults rose and values of properties declined, these investors lost significant amounts of money. Mortgage-backed securities are now more risky and investors went back to the safe haven of bonds. All right, so you with me so far? If not, call me, and if so, we're going to move on with this. So it doesn't look like the feds are going to continue the mortgage-backed securities purchasing plan beyond the $1.25 trillion that they had allocated towards it, nor beyond the March 2010 deadline. So the magic question is how will the discontinuance of their purchasing plan affect us? And here's the thing, mortgage-backed securities, for the most part, they've been purchasing 80% of it. And so the investors will have to start investing into mortgage-backed securities. But how will we get the investors to want to purchase mortgage-backed securities? Okay? Although I think with the tighter lending environment over the last couple years and the tougher qualification process, investment in mortgages are probably safer than they have ever been. But the investor wants to... to get a greater rate of return on the perceived risk. What's the only way for the investor to make more money in mortgage-backed securities? Higher interest rates. And that is what mortgage-backed securities have to do with you. So if you have any desire to refinance, if you haven't even looked at refinancing, you should consider doing that now. If you're planning on buying a home, if you're currently renting, if you're planning on buying a second home, maybe even an investment property, you should consider trying to do that or look into it and investigate it before the Fed discontinue the mortgage-backed securities purchasing plan because interest rates will go up. Even if they continued beyond their March deadline, how much money could we possibly continue to print to support this program? Because rates will go up. So please don't let this historical low interest rate environment pass you by. Because as they say, this too shall pass. It's been Jay Wu at the Westside Hub, who's the next person you know who could use our help. Thanks so much for watching.